10 tips for recording in VRChat. If you've tried the new VRChat stream camera, you've probably seen it has a few new modes for more interesting shots. A recent update added a flying camera mode, disabling your own movement in favor of panning a camera around. It's a bit tricky to get the hang of, and I do find it disappointed that it can't be programmed long pass. However, the flying camera is still good for getting overview shots of worlds, getting to hard to reach angles, or anything else that requires minimal camera movement. The stream camera also has a follow me option that continuously points the camera directly at your head. This can be good for creating following shots from afar or focusing on you during a live stream. Smoothing can also be used to reduce some of the jitter effect when manipulating the camera. And if you are filming a horizontal video, try out the level effect to perfectly align the camera with the horizon. No matter how good your tracking is, holding the VR chat camera introduces jitter to your shot. You want to hold the camera as little as possible when recording to avoid this. Set up the camera to your ideal shot, then drop the lens by anchoring it to the world or local position. World keeps the camera in place just to one location on the map, whereas local tracking stays at a fixed position relative to your own allowing it to follow you without needing to be held. Local position is good for streaming and recording games because it stays near you at all times, and world position is good for setting up specific shots. The stream camera has a feature called pins. These pins allow you to pre-save camera locations inside your VRChat camera, so be sure to make use of this option when you want to stay consistent in your camera placement. There's also a focus effect that emulates real cameras. This can be cool and result in some professional looking shots, but I'd be careful with using it on video, especially with autofocus. You risk some of your footage coming out blurry in places you don't want. So don't turn it on unless you're using it with intent. Carefully adjust the focus yourself and take the shot. One underutilized feature of the stream camera is the green screen effect. Modern video editors make it super easy to chroma key or isolate a set of colors from your video footage. Enable the green screen in the VRChat camera and find a tutorial for your editing software of choice. One thing to be careful of is avatars with transparent particles and surfaces. These can be much more difficult to edit around, so it's best to avoid them when green screening. And of course, if your character is green, you'll need to find a world with a different color flat background. You can even accomplish this effect directly in OBS and save yourself editing time with a transparent video. Enable these file settings to make a transparent QuickTime animation file, go to masks in your stream camera, and toggle off the environment instead of the green screen. I've found this effect super useful for acting out multiple characters and making my videos stand out more with different backgrounds. You can even get creative and make things like animated stickers for Telegram. Look, there are some really pretty nighttime worlds in VRChat. Much like real life, lighting is super important for making good videos. Maybe you can adjust your avatar to pop out more in the darkness with its own lighting, but they're best avoided in general. Look for bright worlds with consistent lighting, and if you do decide to record in a dark world, make sure there's lighting somehow on the important subjects. Also, be wary of YouTube and TikTok impression. You might have to brighten the video when editing it. Expressions are a super important yet surprisingly tricky part of puppeting your VR chat model. Furthermore, since expressions are linked to hand gestures, you might end up wanting to make hand gestures that don't align with your face or vice versa. To combat this, simply lock your expressions by turning off gestures. It seems like hand tracking still works on the index, so you can still gesture with your hands while keeping the facial expression that you want. Most of the time, you'll be using the stream camera to record your footage. Overlay programs such as OBS Toolkit and SteamVR can't be recorded this way. If you would like to show the actual view inside your headset, simply navigate to SteamVR menu right here and display VR view. On Oculus Quest 2, you can find a hidden program called Oculus Mirror inside your program files. So next time something doesn't show up in your stream camera or you need to show off your overlays, you'll have a way around it. Or you could even go crazy and show off a separate capture of both your stream camera camera and the VR view for two simultaneous perspectives. This might be good for live streaming. Let me introduce you to Prop Worlds in VRChat. Prop Worlds contain holdable objects that you can act with in order to provide context to your performances. You'll need to actually use a green screen this time, otherwise the props will be lost with the environment. This is also a good place to find a blue screen, as previously mentioned, in case you need it for a green character or object. For example, when I made a video about the furry species Mano Kits, I wanted a shot of them wearing a beach object on their head, but I also wanted to maintain continuity with the same beach world I had shot with previously. So I took a screenshot of that world, my friend acted out the scene with the prop, and I overlaid the footage for the final shot. And yes, with avatar interactions, you can totally add props to your own avatars. However, I find it a bit tricky and more time consuming to set this up. 
OVR Smooth Tracking is a Steam VR add-on that smooths the motions of your local trackers in order to enhance the movement of your avatar. It's super useful for filming in VR, as jittery trackers can ruin good shots through no fault of your own. If you'd like to learn more about it and other add-ons that can enhance VR chat, check out this video on Steam VR mods that can help improve VR chat.